Right now on Wrestling 4 TV, I've got the Elliot Jordan experience with me. So, Elliot, how does Wrestling 4 differ from normal or other promotions that you've wrestled on? It differs in the sense that when I'm when I'm at other promotions and I'm fighting, I'm I'm fighting just for myself, just for the Elliot Jordan experience. And and yeah, that party I have after each show, that celebration in the VIP room of a nightclub that no one can get into. It's always a great it is always a great party, obviously. Um, but when I'm at Wrestling Four, I'm not fighting for myself, I'm fighting for a great cause and it's always been a different cause. Um and I might be, I might be a really, really bad guy, but doing that, it, it, it's just a good feeling in that. And so that that after party, after in the VIP room of a nightclub, no one else can get into. It, it just puts a warm feeling, just a, a warm feeling in my heart. Yeah. And where do you see yourself heading in wrestling for in the future? Straight, straight to that title. To be honest with you, John. Um, thing is, we're wrestling for. And it's been it's been fun. Um, I've had a couple of really, really fun, good matches. And I mean, I got I got to fire a confetti gun at someone. Got to shoot a ref. The the ref's a long time adversary of mine anyway. So that was cool. And I've had some cool moments, some memories, and things. But I look back. And, Obviously, I've, during this lockdown, I've been looking back on things and I look back at my time in wrestling for just with a bit of disappointment, to be honest, because I've been there from day one, uh, back when it was just, as, I don't even know the name of where it was at, some poxy little, some really poxy little social club in Gornal it was. Um, and it's it, over the years, it's got been this small just this genuinely small charity show to now it's it's a whole promotion of its own and and i've been a big part of that i was there from day one i've been on every single every single event put on some great matches some good performances look at the look at the two chapathons raised hundreds of pounds off my own chest literally off my own chest still um, feel it today. <laughs> Oh, I'm still, feeling, still feeling today. Yeah, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting that area tattooed in a month, and it's like, oh, are these, the, is it still going to be extra sore? Um, but yeah, I just look back at my time with regret because I see all, all the, all the people who, who have come through the curtain at wrestling for and stepped into that ring, and and since we've had the title, I look at the people who've been in the championship matches. And I, I, I just don't, I don't understand why the Elliot Jordan experience has been overlooked for these. I'm looking at people like Corey Johnson, Steve Valentino. You've got Danny Reed in there. Like, why, why is the Elliot Jordan experience not given a shot? And um, and finally, finally, it gets announced that it, it, it's going to be me in that fatal four way. And um, believe it was elimination for the number one contendership. So the the pathway is there for me. And um, when I look at when I look at the Elliot Jordan Experiences record in all the other promotions that I work for, I'm cha- I'm either a champion or I'm championship contenders everywhere I am, apart from wrestling four. I've had my fun and I've had my fun at wrestling four, but now it's time it's time to get serious and it's time to get championship gold. There we go. And if you've got a message for the fans of Wrestling 4, what would you like to tell them? To the fans of Wrestling 4, well, they're never going to get to chop me again. Um, that's that, that's one thing. Not going to win a championship having 100 chops put on my chest. So the Wrestling 4, have seen, they've seen a side of the Elite Jordan experience um, that no, no other fans across the UK have seen. Um, but that's over now. They're in for a whole new experience going forward there we go the elite jordan experience thank you very much